side and the Rising Cup Tournament opening round match between Aaron Matthews and a fellow Excalibur. You know, Aaron Matthews, like myself, has been to the finals of the Horizon Cup. It can do so much for your career, but unlike Aaron Matthews, I won mine, he lost. Let's see if he can get some redemption here tonight. And if folks uh, don't know, Travis Weir. Oh, so look at that. Excalibur gets Matthews up and down in a hurry. Travis Weir uh, would be a most likely a part of this tournament and would be trying to defend it, uh, but suffering an injury and is out for a while. Yes. Well, we are lucky second, to have... Second year in a row, I think it's a conspiracy that I am out on injury for this tournament. And Big body. But that just shows you right there how important this tournament is when somebody will put their body on the line to get that trophy, to be elevated. Look at Blake Reed one year ago. Yep, but Blake Reed one year ago. Tournament. Took the next step, became the UWC heavyweight champion. If X Caliber keeps delivering body slams like that, he very much well could be the next Horizon Cup champion. Wow, and that, uh, that last one caused Matthews to roll out. Matthews got to figure out some strategy. Aaron Matthews you know, resembling a little, a little puffy powder there. I thought he was going to powder out this floor, take a breath. He says, uh-uh, who's sexy? I'm here to fight. Yeah, you can see it. The welts on his back already from what Excalibur has done to him. Yeah, nice arm drag. Excalibur was ready for that, it didn't look like it. I don't know much about this Excalibur fellow. Oh, Aaron Matthews, he's got to keep his eye on the ball here. He's taking his eyes off his opponent. That's what cost him the Horizon Cup last year. And other matches too along the way. One thing that's kept Aaron back is Aaron Matthews. He'll tell you that, but it's one thing to recognize the problem, another thing to overcome it. Excalibur slowly taking his time to back the ring. That is very good. Psyching out his opponent, catching his breath. I think he's got a couple more than Bishop Body Slams packed up in his, in his, in his trick, not a trick right there. Referee's not counting, so he's got plenty of time. I know the crowd's counting, but that doesn't matter. Oh, what a drop kick! Yeah. Off that top turnbuckle and a cover one. That close between moving on, there's another. And another elbow. Not only is he driving the elbow down right there, Eric Lloyd, because he missed it, he is taking the point of his forearm, elbow right to the ear, oh. forearm to the oh. temple. Kind of a, a flicking motion, adding a double hit to that. Oh, almost as if you are casting a fishing rod. Now I'm used to that. I'm not, I pay people to cook fish for me. And we're, we'll talk there. about Colliery School another day. We got a match going on right now with a vicious hard shot. He's got to be feeling the pain from those body slams earlier. Absolutely, going right back to the back is Excalibur. And I got to like the way this uh, fellow has gone right after the hometown hero. You know, Excalibur may not be a known man, but he's showing a vicious side that I like. One. He's got to know that that's not going to beat Matthews. Hey, you know that wouldn't beat Matthews. You've been in there with Matthews, I and you know it takes more than that. You know what? I'm starting to hate you right now because this is the second time tonight that I might have to agree with you. You can be a hater all you want. But Aaron Matthews is a very, very strong opponent. Matthews trying to work his way back up, lands a weak right. Oh, shot to the gut, shot to the gut. Yeah, See, look, he's attacking the gut and the arm on those punches because if you knock the wind out of your opponent and you break his grip, he cannot hit those body slams, he cannot work the lower back. But Excalibur shaking him off and you see a hard chop right there. Oh, that was a good one. I think I saw Aaron, Aaron Matthews lose it too. I see the people in the front row got a got a uh, souvenir, a little piece of Matthews. And Matthews just might have a crack in his back to match the crack in his tooth. That was a good elbow drop. 
And kind of underrated, an elbow drop to the back. He does a lot. Actually adds a second concussion force when he lands in the mat. I'm, ask, I'm asking you, being a person who drops the elbow fairly often. I drop the biggest, the stupidest. Drop kick. What a drop kick there. Interrupted my six. Two, two. It's the best drop kick in the Midwest. I'm getting very mad at you. It's the third time tonight I have to agree with you. Once, first we had, we agreed on pizza. Now we're agreeing on this. Aaron Matthews, twice, three times in one night, I'm agreeing with you. Let's face it, how can you not agree on pizza? Touche. That's the fourth time you agree with you. And now it's Excalibur tied in. Up Whoa, and over. Leapfrog right there. Yep. Side cartwheel by. Oh, there it comes, those strikes. There's that drop kick again. And. Oh, zigzag. And that could be all. You can see him gasping for air down on the mat. Aaron Matthews, Matthews up top. Up top. Oh. Flash lands perfectly. One, two, three. That's it. Aaron Matthews with the sexiest flash in the WWE. You heard that from uh, him. I didn't say that. Aaron Matthews. Aaron Matthews gets himself a win. A fine effort by Excalibur, though. Wouldn't mind seeing him back in the ring very soon. Aaron Matthews can do tonight, the next couple of weeks, he will be in the finals for the second year in a row. I hate to say it, but you can quote me on that. Oh, it goes really well. We've got another Rising Cup match coming up later involving uh, some people that haven't been seen in the UWC for a while. Got more to come on UWC Online. Stay tuned. New from Johnson & Hedges, the most exciting board game ever invented. Ever? Yes, ever. Crazy Chase is the only board game with literally 1,000 dice. Just dump the dice, count up your total, and make your move. And the first one to the castle wins! Chase from the makers of Obey Your Nanny. I don't suck, I'm your UWC heavyweight champion. You see, I came out here tonight because I have a little thing, a couple things to get off my chest. You can't beat Parker Durs. You can't beat Stephen Davis. You can't beat Joey O'Reilly. You can't beat Alice Castle. But you did. But you know what? I did. I did. And, I'm, and each and every week I come out here and I beat whatever opponent they put in front of me. So you all going to have to get used to me beating the UWC Heavyweight Champion. Wanting another shot at Blake Reed in the UFC Heavyweight Championship. You're not gonna cut my mic off. I can talk all night. You want me to? All but you see, Joe O'Reilly, number one contenders don't get left leg after their matches. That one more match stipulation didn't work for Christian Cage, and it's not gonna work for you. 
I told you I got all night. That was so 1996. What? Dumb? Shut up. We can go all night with that. Now, you see, I just want to say, I hate each and every one of you. And you stand up and cheer for the United Heavyweight Champion. UWC Online, new episodes every Monday, youtube.com slash UWC Georgetown. Well, folks, I'm standing by now with Mark Vandy. It's been a while since we've seen you it's, around here. Yes, it has been a while, hasn't it, Johnstone? Do you remember what happened the last time I was around? Yeah. How's your chest feeling, bud? Well, I, How's I finally, it feeling? I finally got over it, but don't worry about that. That's the past. Let's look to the present. Here tonight you have an opportunity to advance in the unprecedented 16-man Horizon Cup tournament. But in order to do that, right here tonight, you have to get past the Muay Thai warrior, Da Cobra. You know, you guys, you know, Da Cobra obviously, obviously decorated here in the past of UWC. But I'm not here to talk about the past, John Stone. I'm here to talk about the present and the future. You see, the Horizon Cup's kind of a big deal around here. And I want to be on that list of men that have held that trophy, that have, that have hoisted it above their head at the end of this tournament. And the Cobra, I'm sorry, but you're going to be the first victim, just like John Stone was here in Natural Selection when I put the baddest knee in professional wrestling right down your throat. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest scheduled for one fall is your main event of the evening. And it is a first round matchup in the 16-man Horizon Cup Tournament. Introducing first, from Bluffton, Indiana, this is Mark Vanti. And introducing his opponent, hailing from Chicago, Illinois, he is the Muay Thai Warrior, Da Cobra! Our main event of this episode of UWC Online, we've got the Muay Thai Warrior, Cobra. The Cobra going up against the returning Mark White. We haven't seen him for a while. Mark Vandy. I don't know why I put Wyatt in there. It must be the beard. But if anything else, that beard of Vandy's has gotten even more unruly since we've seen him last. And this will be a very interesting match between these two. Vandy, a lanky sort, but a lot of strength. And a Cobra, very fast, very quick, very talented feet. And knees, uses a lot of strikes, will go to the air. Mark Vandy about as uh, trustworthy as a cobra. And he's in with the cobra. And arm drag takedown. And Cobra gets the first strike in against Vandy, and I'm joined by uh, John Stone. I saw you were left out here by yourself. I want to come join you. Yeah, it's a, this is going to be an intriguing matchup. We've got a, a, um, well, a rattlesnake against the Cobra, basically. Basically, yeah. And it's the first time we've seen these two in quite a while, of course. Oh, right up Vandy, to the elbow. Vandy, as I, I spoke with him earlier on, he likes to remind me how remind me how he drove a knee into my chest not too long ago. You were uh, you were knocked into next week. Yeah, I was. Yes, I was. But I I'm tried still here. to yell. I tried to yell. Oh, I know, but I'm still here, and you know what? That's the past. Let's see what happens now. I'm not going to deny Mark Vandy the skill that this man has. 
But well, going through Jacobra. Yeah, that will be something else. And if, frankly, if anybody gets hit by that knee, they're done. And, exactly. Uh, Cobra probably knows that. And he's agile enough to get out of the way and land a few strikes of his own. Uh oh. Up and over and lands on Vandy. Sends the Indiana native to the outside. You take a look at the different styles between these two guys. You got Mark Vandy, who's more of a ground and pound. He likes to get you down, stomp on you, kick you, anything that'll keep you off your feet and on the mat. But Cobra, he loves taking to the air. He does. He does. He, uh, whoops, look at this. Straight up. Oh, just a, a football tackle into the side and that bullish move. A couple of shoulder blocks. Vandy will use his head as a weapon, which he just did, and a headbutt to the abdomen area. Oh, and again, another shot to that same short ribs area on the Cobra. Now, the Cobra, someone he'll use a almost a karate-like approach at times. Likes to kick, likes to use those knees. And will fly around, but over the years, and I've seen, oh, probably triple-digit number of Cobra matches. He has gotten to be a bigger competitor, stronger, and more of a mat technician than he was in the past. I tell you, Cobra, he has quite a history here in UWC. I mean, he's not been around as much as he used to be. But when he was here almost every week, he was on his game. Mm -hmm. You couldn't touch him. He's tough. He's tough to get through. And, and suddenly when you think he's done, he comes right back. He comes right back. Now Just he's like trying right to come here. back again. But you're talking about Mark Vandy, who is uh, who enjoys inflicting pain, but he is one who enjoys inflicting pain toward the win. The win is the most important thing to him. As opposed to somebody like a Jimmy Carrot, where you don't really know what direction he's going. Exactly. The win is the most important thing, and he's going to try and get it by any means necessary. And that, if you think about it, wait a second. That, if you think about it, looks to be long-term downfall for him on some occasions. On occasion. Oh. Lands again. But his length is something that is very tough to, to get away from. If you have him down in the middle of a ring this size, it's very easy for him to get to the ropes. Exactly. I mean, Mark Vandy likes taking those long strides when he's walking or when he's running. It won't take him too long to get you. Get no. you in the corner, get you off the ropes, anywhere. Yeah, he's yeah. tall and he's lanky. And you, know what he, ooh, and you know what he reminds me of in that type of build is a... Um, and uh, in the ropes, a Bob Orton Jr. I see touches something into his tights there. No. I would say a Bob Orton Jr. Um, doesn't look like necessarily he would be strong, but he definitely is strong to go with that long build. Oh, I can definitely tell you he is incredibly strong. Wait a second. Two. No. Only a two count. Cobra still gets out. I can tell you the strength of this man is just uncanny. As we've said already, I felt that running knee, that move he likes to put opponents away with. He put me away with it very easily, which oh, yeah. is not saying much, but at yeah, the same time, into it. Into it that time, I felt this man's strength. You can see the Cobra exploding. Off the ropes, comes up, no. Oh. oh my gosh. And right off that top rope, and that will give you a bad attitude in a hurry. And it could be the end. Cobra, one, two, no. Notice how he put the, the knee on the chest with a little extra edge on the shoulders. I'm surprised more wrestlers don't do something like that. Exactly. Add a little bit more pressure trying to make sure he keeps him down. Oh, just, just walked away. Whoa, it looked like he found a, a little bit of string. See, there it goes. That might exactly, have been using. Exactly what I said. Mark Vandy's going to go to any length that he can to try and gain a victory. Any means necessary. Suplex. Up. Oh, nope. Slingshot. Ooh, slingshot. Snap suplex, too. Whoa. Kind of a slingshot snap suplex. That's a very differently done. And uh, Vandy is beside himself. He it, thought that was for sure. It almost looked like Vandy landed on his knee in that slingshot, like he would have torqued it a little bit. Vandy not happy that uh, the ringside person came and got his string, which is now beside us, and I'm certainly not going to touch it. After... Oh, no, I, I don't need any more problems with Vandy. No, 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 no. And Cobra making his way up slowly. Oh, 
popped him. You think about this Horizon Cup tournament that these two men are fighting to try and advance in. We've already seen the advance with Jimmy Carrot, Aaron Matthews in the biggest tournament we've ever had so far. This is the third year for doing this. 16 guys. Yeah, this is just a first round match. So this is, this could be a championship match anywhere. And, oh, look at this. A couple of those knees, a talented knees and strikes now by the Mike Warrior. And Vandy hits the mat backwards. If there's one thing you don't want to do, it's let the Cobra catch a second wind. No. And he's setting up something here. Got him up straggling in the corner. Oh! Lands that knee. And lands back up on his feet. Oh! Down goes Randy. And that could be all. The big guy's down. One, two, no. You can see where he didn't have that excess pressure on the shoulders, and that cost him. Exactly, and you notice to Cobra, he just threw all that offense, but after he didn't get the pinfall, he has to take a few moments to catch his breath. Yep. That's how much pain he's feeling right now. That's how how much Vanny's worked him over. Matrix out of that one. Whoa. Whoa. Clobbered him right on top of the head, and I mean clobbered him and a cover. This could be it. One, two, no. That was, that was square on the noggin. Yeah, there was no dodging out of that one. And wait a second. Yeah, he's going down to trucks for something else. I don't even want to know. This is a PG show. Well, he's got something in his hand. He's wrapping it around his. Is that a chain? Under what he's got. Oh, oh he landed a boot. Oh, look at that. There's nothing. He fooled him. One, two, three. Cut. Oh. Oh, I was about ready to ring that bell. Oh, I almost grabbed the microphone. He's saying it was two. That's that up. How close it was, he actually hit the three count, but he kicked out. Joey Morello would be proud. Yep. No Bronco Lubitsch, this man. And now Vandy trying to figure out what is he going to have to do to finish off the Cobra. Before that pinfall, you saw Vandy was reaching into his tights. He fooled everybody. Yep. yep. The referee looking one way, and he nailed him with that boot. Looks like he's going to land that knee. Uh oh no, 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 no. Oh. He missed it, comes off, lands a strike, a second to the side of the head, one to the gut, a third to the gut, and another side of the head. Cobra, off nice scouting into this matchup. Oh, look at this. Fireman. No! Oh, he got the plunge out of the cover. One, two, no. Oh! Not as close as the last time, but still. He got the old school driver that time. Just about got the three. Well, for him, he's got to get the momentum in his favor to do something like that, and he certainly did. Exactly. Now, would you consider this to be a little bit of a mistake on Cobra's part? Uh, Cobra should have been back up to his feet and working over Bandy instead of standing there, getting the crowd going. Yeah, he's trying to figure out, though, what his next move is. He doesn't want to be impulsive. Now he's lining him up. Nope. Doesn't uh -oh. get him. Swing under. Kick to the top and off. Oh! Arm flip takedown. That wasn't an arm drag. That was a flip. Wait a second. Oh.